Hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, I'm doing pretty good myself today. Well, we got something to look at. A very vintage piece of old technology from the 80s or from the 90s computer age of different types of technology. And no, it's not a Blu-ray. No, it's not a DVD. It's just a standard CD-ROM drive. It only will work with CDs or CD-ROMs. But everything now is on a Blu-ray on also a DVD as well. This is a very vintage piece of technology because I stored this up in the attic for a couple years now and I pulled it down and I wanted to take a look at it and see if I can use it for something. And I don't know what I can use it with. Now again, this unit is so old, most newer computers ain't going to have the type of slot to put this in because it's a IED, not a SATA connection on the back. That's only typically if you have a motherboard, it can support both SATA or IED. But this is kind of a unique uh, looking old unit. But it does work. I did test it and I took it all apart and see what's kind of wrong with it and it does work perfectly fine and it uses 12 volts to actual power up the older system and let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this old uh, case here shall we this is a very vintage old piece of technology but you can see your standard uh, CD drive right here CD drive tray you got your headphone out your volume your LED flashing light though for data transfer and stuff like that. And you got that little holder if you ever got your drawer stuck and you can manually push that open. And we got your skip, play, stop, and reject uh, button on this. But yeah, this is a pretty uh, heavy unit uh, for its age as well. Now if you can see, I took out the rebel feet. It was actual on the bottom of the hill to actually open it up and show you what it looks like. And this is the label uh, over here of the model and information about it. And this is where the actual hard drive can go or a CD drive can go as well. But what I was really interested mostly about this older unit, you can see it has all these different in and outputs here. We got a max, got a microphone, we got line in, line out, volume and speak out and CD and audio out for plugging this into a audio source to listen to music on this unit as well. And I don't understand what these ports are here. I think they're like a uh, printer port or SCSI type uh, port, so I don't know. And a 12 volt power and a toggle switch for on and off. And yes, it uses 12 volts thus to power this whole unit. Now, I don't know what I can use it for. I'm just not really interested in older technology because it's just not something that would match with a black type of technology. This is a beige cuddle system. And let's go ahead and just uh, take the top off and shall we look on the inside of the unit itself. And it will tell you what it is and how it looks. You can see the standard old. Uh, drive for standard computers, uh, beige computers, desktop computers, you know, that name, you name it. Here we got this audio board right here, you see, we got the uh, IED connection connecting this with that, and this is the audio uh, cable coming from the main board into here for the audio can work that way, and we got an audio cable down below here, it connects to the the CD drive to the uh, main board down here and we got the power as well and the non-power power on this side and we got the power supply right here and apparently this cap is bad we're gonna have to replace it with a newer cap but I was very interested in seeing on what I can use for this old system now let's go ahead and plug it in with a 12 volt power supply if you can see I have one right here to power it up. It takes a bit of getting used to old pieces of technology and seeing how everything lights and loads and everything. And once we got 12 volts to it, 
Let's go ahead and turn it on. And she powers up and she does all sorts of cool stuff, I think. And see, it opens like a normal uh, CD drive. Now we can put a uh, disc in on the inside. Just a music disc, you know, like one of these. Now, 51. Yeah, of course, I don't have any headphones to test it out or speakers to test it out, but it does work perfectly fine. Sometimes she gets a little picky. And, ta da! You can actually have. Alright, if you are brand really new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out, bye guys. I'll hopefully see you. In the next vlog, I hope you like old vintage type of technology, like this one, I guess, I don't know.